The bond that you have is so special, and you all look out for each other so much. I found this to be the case early on in my relationship with Jen, when at a Hogmanay party, I was told by one of the sisters that they would come and find me if I ever hurt Jen. <laughs> I've been scared of Brian ever since. <laughs> Thank you for all your help and support that you've given us in preparing for today and making sure that Jen turned up on time. I'd like to thank you all for making me feel so welcome in the family and delighted to have now have uh, officially three sisters in law. <laughs> so if you could all please be upstanding as I'd like to raise a toast to the bridesmaids. Come on. Mm. <laughs> Thank you also to my three groomsmen today, Ross, Jason and Janet, who have here managed to get everyone successfully on the bus after the ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I couldn't have picked three worse people for the job. <laughs> that you once missed a Hearts game in Dumfries because you got on the wrong train <laughs> Seriously though, seriously though, we've known each other since nursery and primary school days and we've had some great times over the years. So I'd just like to thank them for being great friends and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Christopher Christmas Pop Crawl in a few weeks time. <laughs> My best friend, Andrew and Stuart, thank you for being such fantastic brothers over the years. Back when we were growing up, we did everything together, so it was just like having two best friends around all the time. However, the problem was, whatever we did became very competitive, <laughs> which did cause a few fallouts. Games of Mario Kart and Pro F would get very heated, and games of football in the back garden would be played like it was a World Cup final, <laughs> with bad tackles all over the place. <laughs> By yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> we don't always make up though, and looking back, these were great times. I couldn't have asked for two better brothers, so thanks for everything and keeping me calm this morning and enjoying the ceremony. <laughs> and finally, to my new beautiful wife, Jen. I just want to say how amazing you look today. I know that Jen wouldn't want me to give a soppy speech about her for the next few minutes, but what I will say is that getting to know you in the past five years and planning our lives together has been incredible, and I wouldn't have changed any of it. You're my best friend, and I feel like the luckiest man alive when I saw you in the church today. And it will be a moment that will stay with me forever. I'd like to thank Jen for the huge amount of hard work she's put in today and for making sure it all ran smoothly, which included even making her own, her own wedding cake just two days ago. <laughs> Despite Jen actually loving the planning and organising that uh, wedding involves, it's taken a great deal of time and effort, and I think we all agree that you've done a great job. To be honest, I think you appreciate the fact that I took a back seat in the planning and I agreed to all of your requests and ideas. <laughs> I'm sure most of you know that we met through the dating app Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> to say I was nervous beforehand would be an understatement. I'd never been on a date before and wandered aimlessly around town for an hour before to try and compose myself. <laughs> Luckily, we seemed to hit it off straight away, and within the first three weeks, we had booked our first holiday together to Mallorca. <laughs> we, we haven't looked back since. With COVID, we've had to wait that extra bit longer for today. So much so that we've been able to have a lockdown baby in that time. <laughs> it's certainly been worth the wait, given that we have Rebecca here to celebrate today with us too, who is looking beautiful in her white dress. <laughs> Adding Rebecca to the family 
Lee Harwell this year was the greatest gift that I could ever ask for. And I'll always be so thankful and proud of you for that. Aww. You are such a great company, Rebecca, and we both love you very much. It, it seems ironic that before meeting you, I was scared to speak to females. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So true, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I can't get out of it. I've got two tones after a moment. <laughs> so if you can all please be outstanding again as I raise my yeah, final toast point. to my new wife, but also everyone here today to say thank you for helping us make our day that extra bit special. So to family and friends. Family and friends. Brilliant, man. What are you doing here? Oh, man. Thank you. You're probably all ready for your dinner now, but unfortunately, you still need those Stuart talk nonsense. So it's worth noting that I've shared a room with Stuart for almost 20 years, so I've got a few good stories on him too, which I'll happily share depending on what I said in the speech. Hope you all have a good night. I don't know